Hey guys, it's Jessica from Peace Love Books, and today I'm here with a video of if you like this, I think you will like this book. I do want to say I sound so weird to myself. I am fighting a cold. Like, uh, I, th I think I had the flu, honestly. I had a fever yesterday, and it's it's not getting better. It it's a little better. Yesterday was rough. I... <laughs> I, I literally did nothing but sit on the couch all day. Like, I couldn't even read yesterday. I felt so bad because I couldn't sleep at all the night before, but I'm stuffy still, but I'm feeling better. I'm feeling better after getting, like, 10 hours of sleep last night. So, we're going to attempt to film today. So, sorry if I sound weird, but I thought it'd be fun to recommend books that I have loved. And I think that if you like this popular book, you will love this other book, whether it's still popular but not as popular. But before we get into the video, I do want to thank the sponsor of this video, which is Megan Quinn. Bridesmaids for Hire is out now, and I don't know about you, but I love a good wedding romance, and I love a good destination romance. So, somewhere where they are traveling, and it is just so tropical and fun and this one the heroine actually goes to Bora Bora. There she runs into her brother's best friend who she absolutely hates, her sworn enemy. She's like, I'm never gonna touch this guy. I'm never gonna see him. She does everything she can to never be around him and she runs into him on her tropical vacation and it turns out he is there for his boss's daughter's wedding and he really wants to have a good impression because he really wants to move up in the company. What happens is the heroine is like, this is the perfect opportunity for me to grow my business. She is a professional bridesmaid and wedding planner and she is like if I can get into this wedding it is the wedding of the century like my business will be great he needs to have a good impression on his boss so that he can get a good place in the business so they have to fake date in order to get what they want and now they cannot stand each other she obviously has gone so many years with trying to like avoid him because she hates him so much but now they have to fake date act like they are madly in love at a wedding which is so romantic in a trap destination which is also so romantic and try to get what they want out of it which is better things for their business but obviously they're going to fall in love in the process. Megan Quinn always has really fun antics in her romances that make you laugh out loud so if you want a fake dating destination wedding romance definitely check out Bridesmaid for Hire and thank you so much to Megan Quinn for sponsoring this video. So the first book that I want to recommend of if you like these two books you will like this one book so I think if you love Laura Pavlov and Catherine Cowell specifically After the Storm for a really angsty second chance romance and Echoes of You by Catherine Cowell which is romantic suspense. We have someone who really cares for the heroine trying to help her out of a bad situation specifically with an abusive ex. Then I think you would really love Rope the Moon by Ava Hunter. This book is so angsty from the start. The hero and heroine grew up in this small town and they have a year-long fling and the hero is actually an ex-marine and the heroine wants to get out of their small town to bigger and better things which is both of these. The heroine leaves and comes back and what happens is the heroine has a bakery and it ends up burning down because her ex is very abusive towards her and they have this really big fight bakery burns down and she leaves and runs back to the small town but she gets stranded about eight hours outside of their town so she calls her dad but her dad actually has cancer which she doesn't know and the hero hears that she needs help he's like I'll make it and he jumps in his car and goes after her and she's actually pregnant with her ex's child so she has just a lot going on in her life and she's like I'm nowhere in a place to have a child like what am I gonna do she's feeling a lot of feelings about having a baby and the hero is just willing to do everything for her looking up all these things buying these things and it is so adorable and he also helps train retired military dogs and I just love him so much he works on his brother's ranch and he and the heroine are reconnected and have to work through some things and it's very angsty. If you love those two small town romance authors, you will really love this book. Then I think if you love the Fallen Men series by Gianna Darling, if you really love motorcycle romances, but you also don't need like dark, dark, because I feel like a lot of motorcycle romances are pretty dark. The Fallen series is kind of dark, but like not as dark as MCs can get. If you do like the found family aspect of motorcycle romances and the angst that these romances have I think that you will love the Stone Riders MC series by Ashley Munoz book one where we started is a second chance romance and he is the 
MC president, and she's the daughter of the president that was originally the president, and they actually had a romance in the past, and she left town, and now she's back for her father's funeral, and he is now the president, and then this one is now the president. He was the vice president in this book, Things Happen, and now he is a president with the heroine from the first book's best friend, and he doesn't want to get close to her because he's lost a lot in his past. He's grown up in the MC, and it's very angsty and emotional as well, and I think that if you like that kind of suspense that comes along with an MC romance with like rival MCs and not knowing who to trust and trying to protect people. I think you would really love this series. I'm obsessed. I cannot find my copy of this book. It is somewhere somewhere on my shelves. But if you like Little Eyes by Helena Hunting, which is a very angsty hockey romance where the heroine falls for her one of her brother's best friends, he's a hockey player, and it's very emotional and deals a lot with mental health, I think that you would really love Unsteady by Peyton Corinne, which has actually just been traditionally published. The audiobook is out now too, and this one is very good between a figure skater and a hockey player, and they meet because the hero is having a panic attack on the ice because the last time he played in a game, he got very into Injured, and now he can't stop like having flashbacks and panic attacks and he tries to skate again because of what had happened and she is dealing with a lot at home trying to take care of her siblings so I feel like a lot of aspects of this book is from the entire series of the Little Lies series I don't remember what the series is called but the third book in that series has a heroine that really reminds me of the heroine in this one where she has to take care of a lot at home and her siblings and give so much of her time to them and her money and she just thinks he's a spoiled rich kid and he falls so hard for her and so I think if you really like the Helena Hunting series you would really like this one. They do help each other a lot and he just wants to be there for her but she is so used to everyone leaving her. She does not want to let anybody in so definitely check out Unsteady if you haven't yet. I also think if you like It Happened One Summer by Tessa Bailey. You so this one is a rom-com. It is a very grumpy fisherman and this very rich spoiled heroine coming into town. I think if you like this book you will love The Catch by Amy Leah. This one is a newer release and I had so much fun with this. It takes place in a small like coastal town in Canada and the heroine is an influencer and she's invited to stay at this one place but they accidentally got the date wrong and she's like I'm not gonna fly back and fly back on her own time and money so she decides to stay just a week and gets a place at this I don't know if it's an a bed and breakfast or just like an inn but the hero's family owns it and he is a fisherman and they immediately butt heads and he is trying to like help her show her around and he gets into an accident and she has to pretend to be his girlfriend in order to see him at the hospital and then uh, his family overhears and so then they have to fake date and it's just a really cute fun romance and the hero is so so grumpy but he really loves his family and wants them to get along and be together so I had a lot of fun reading this. Definitely gave me vibes of It Happened One Summer, so check this out if you loved that book. Then if you like The Temporary Wife by Katerina Mora, which is a boss secretary romance where he decides to get married to his secretary because she's really the only one that he can stand and he has really had a soft spot for her for so long and he wants to get out of a different marriage. Will you marry me instead? So he gets engaged to her. If you really like that dynamic and the marriage of convenience aspect of this book, I think that you would really like The Ick Factor by Morgan Elizabeth. This one does not have marriage of convenience, but it does have fake dating slash fake engagement. So the hero has really always had a soft spot for the heroine since he hired her. She's like the only one he can even stand to be around and she has never gotten the ick by him. She's always gone on dates and by like the third or fourth date, she's like, something about this guy bothers me. She's never had that with the hero. And so she notices that he is trying to find someone to be fake engaged to because his dad's best friend owes his company and he's retiring and it's between him him and his rival to take over and his dad's best friend is like you just have no life outside of work like I'm really worried about you he's like actually I'm engaged and so then he has to act like the heroine who is his secretary is his fiance so it's fake dating and they're kind of teaming up to take down his rival and he's really had a soft spot for her the whole time he like keeps her favorite snacks in his desk and replenishes them without her knowing and they are just so cute together so I think that if you like the boss employee aspect of a romance and he spoils her he's like take my credit card like buy a nice dress and she loves shopping and he's like really upset that she doesn't live in a nice area because she would rather spend her money on like shoes and clothes than her apartment and so he makes sure like everything is fixed and like that they have a doorman and stuff like that so very protective heroes who are billionaire millionaire bosses 
I would definitely check out Ick Factor if you liked this one. And the last one is actually a Megan Quinn novel. I think if you liked Right Man, Right Time by Megan Quinn, which is an age gap hockey fake dating romance, then you would really like Icebound by Meredith Trapp. This one is so good and it deals with a lot with mental health and the hero is a hockey goalie and I don't remember how old he is. He's in his 30s and he's definitely at an age where he has to think about if he wants to retire but he's like what is literally life without hockey? Like I don't have anything in my life going on and the heroine is someone he gets like a, dr a ride from her. She's a like Lyft Uber driver and he gets a ride from her and they come across this accident and they get out and actually help the people that are the boy is having. I don't remember it's like diabetic or asthma like some sort of attack and they actually help him and her her sister shows up with her sister's boyfriend who is her ex. She ends up saying that she is there with her date, which is the hero. So everybody thinks that they are dating and then she is actually in college and she is the same age as his little sister and they get along so well though and he thinks she's a little older because of things that happened when they were talking and they end up spending more time together because he gets a sponsorship opportunity and they just really like each other but he is definitely worried about how young she is because he's ready to like settle down and have kids. He's at that time and she is not. She's like about to take this fellowship in a different country for art and so they're at different places but like age is definitely a big factor that they're both very aware of which is very similar to the Megan Quinn book and he's a hockey player so if that sounds interesting to you definitely read Icebound by Meredith Trapp and those are my recommendations for if you like this then you should pick up this let me know if you've read any of these and if you have any other recommendations I would love to hear and thank you so much to Megan Quinn for sponsoring this video make sure you check out Bride and Made for Hire if you want a really fun wedding romance fake dating hate to love brother's best friend in Bora Bora at the wedding of the century. Check this out and thanks again to Megan Quinn for sponsoring this video. And that's all I have. As always, thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye.